This is Shelly Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're coming to you from the 2019 Disruptive Growth Conference in New York City. With me today is Todd Alt, DPW Holdings, Inc. Symbol is DPW on the NYSC American. Todd, welcome back to SNN Live. Always good to see you. Good to have you. Thanks. Let's get started with a brief overview of the company, and then we'll go from there. Uh, we're a holding company traded on the uh, NYC American under the symbol DPW. We've been uh, in business since 1969. Uh, we've publicly traded for around 21 years. We have various assets in, uh, really, this is an interesting conference because this is a disruptive conference. We have uh, various investments and holdings in hospitality, uh, commercial defense. We're one of the largest contractors for the Israeli uh, IAI military. Um, we have a... Uh, a fintech platform called monthlyinterest.com. Um, we're a pretty diversified company. We're small, but we're very diversified. What are some historical facts that you can give us briefly about the company? Uh, I think uh, the most important thing is that we, uh, we have some specialties in the, on the power solutions business. We've been in the power business since 69. Some of our subsidiaries are like in the case of Microphase or um, Gresham. Uh, Gresham is a, is a 63-year-old power company in England making power supplies for destroyers and military frigates. Um, so we have a specialty in power and power solutions. Um, we, we have an historical background now with a team we have in financial services. Uh, but, but mainly that the, the company's been around a long time. We've been building the balance sheet and building uh, and making acquisitions. We've built the company mainly in the last couple of years through a lot of acquisitions. You have so many different companies in the holding company. It's hard for me to ask this question, but I will anyway. What's your competitive advantage? And it may be one division over another. Yeah, I, you know, I get that question more often than not because people, we all, one of our competitive advantages is we provide capital to our subsidiaries and, and most of them are trying to do something disruptive in their industry or they're severely undervalued. So we, we, we look at it in, in a couple criteria, whether something's severely undervalued or it's massively disruptive. So the advantage for us, I think, is that when we buy something that's broken, we try to fix it. And when it's disruptive, we try to roll it out in a way where we get scale. So you, you get the best of both worlds of this. You get undervalued assets, but you also get something that's disruptive that could change. Like we have a textile business that it, we think will change the textile industry. Pick one division of the company. Pick one of the companies in the holding company and tell me what your target market is. I would think on the fintech side, our target market is uh, to provide uh, financial services to public and private companies that, that, that cut out Wall Street. That's really, uh, with monthlyinterest.com, we're doing that. That's really kind of our, our big target is to roll up and build our fintech division. Uh, we created DPW Financial, and that's what we're really focused on. That's a big advantage for us. And then Power Solutions is a big advantage just because we have Bitcoin mining. Um, we've been in power supplies for 50 years. That's a huge advantage for us, too. What's your background? I've been on Wall Street since I was uh, 20 years old, and uh, I, I, I had... Uh, I bought a company, took over Franken Capital in 2004, turned it into patient safety technologies that ultimately sold to Stryker for $120 million in 2013. I'm an undervalued guy. I'm a grand and daughter. So you're a public company, so only tell me what you can based on press releases up to this point. What are some growth drivers? We are doing some carve-outs. We are going to carve out our, our digital farms, data center management, and Bitcoin mining business into a separate publicly traded company that DPW Holdings will be the largest shareholder of. That's already been announced. We have talked about and will eventually uh, either bring public or sell our commercial defense business. Probably just defense, but we, we, we're still working on that. But those things have already been publicly disclosed. The next year and a half is re continued revenue growth and then focusing on delivering uh, some event to shareholders so they can have, you know, an exit. We want to be able to, to you know, we want to be able to pay out special dividends or spinoffs on a regular basis as a holding company to companies we think that can grow independently under us but with their own board and their own team. Let's get your website out for more information. It's DPW Holdings, really simple, DPW Holdings. Ladies and gentlemen, Todd, all DPW Holdings, Inc., publicly traded company on the NYSE American as DPW. I'm Shelley Kraft, this is SNN Live. We're coming to you from the 2019 Disruptive Growth Conference here in New York City. Todd, always a pleasure. I love talking to you. You know that. You know, I